So as you know, um, Bill O'Reilly now has left the building, as it were, and it gives um, all former co-workers of Bill O'Reilly an opportunity to um, look back on his, uh, his career and talk about their great experiences with him. Here is, uh, on CNN's New Day, former Knox New uh, Fox News contributors Margaret Hoover and uh, Allison Camerata, both formerly from Fox, <laughs> Both formerly this was the first time Bill talked to me. <laughs> and um, this uh, this gave them a, a wonderful time. Like this is basically this is, you know, that moment where they give them the gold watch. Here it is as they talk about uh, Bill O'Reilly. That makes you feel like you're there as a blonde backdrop for O'Reilly's opinions and not as a political analyst or a commentator who's there as a person in their own right with their own experiences and their own opinions is contributing. And that um, was, frankly, pretty common <laughs> experience at Fox News and for me with Bill O'Reilly, um, whose show I continued to appear on for about four years. I mean, I, I want to be clear. I was never sexually harassed explicitly by Bill O'Reilly, but there were moments that were very uncomfortable with him. And I had to navigate a minefield, is what it felt like to me, to to make sure that I never was in an experience or a situation where I felt vulnerable. I mean, he would critique uh, everything about our appearances as soon as we would get on set, from the length of my eyelashes to the color of my lip gloss. He would. What would he say? Uh, Hoover. Hoover. What, what, what's going on with your eyelashes? They're way too long. Or they're way too short. Or, they're way, or whatever they were. And, and our dress. And the color. And the thing. And, you know, I had a dress for success dressing down one time. Margaret, you got to dress better. And, you know, there was a very clear message about what was acceptable to appear on air, both from what you said at Fox News and what you wore at Fox News. And there you have it. I mean, that you and I have talked about this in private, but we might as well talk about it in public since we both worked there for a long time. And it is that neither of us were ever sexually harassed by Bill O'Reilly. I had an experience uh, more than one with Roger Ailes. But that wasn't the half of it. The real harassment was emotional harassment yeah. there. Roger could be a bully. He mm -hmm. called people mm -hmm. names. Mm -hmm. And it was that feeling of not wanting to ever run afoul of him that was really the chilling effect. Uh, and it so uh, there it is, uh, looking back on Bill O'Reilly's wonderful career at Fox News. And Fox News, what a wonderful place to work. I, I, I'm hoping I can try and get my daughter an internship there. Hey, folks, Sam Cedar here. Donald Trump can kiss all of our asses. And one way he can is by you subscribing to this channel. I don't know how that works.